Greetings everyone. Manu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 6th December 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court while hearing plea filed by a person claiming to be suffering from a condition called myalgic encephalomyelitis or chronic fatigue syndrome has directed Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to examine means to improve conditions of persons suffering from the chronic fatigue syndrome. The court has dismissed a plea seeking removal of levy of goods and services tax on medicines to cure spinal muscular atrophy stating that it is a policy decision what price it has to be sold for will be decided by the government. The Supreme Court Constitution bench has held that power under section 319 of CRPC is to be invoked and exercised before pronouncement of order of sentence where there is judgment of conviction of accused and in case of acquittal power should be exercised before order of acquittal is pronounced. The Supreme Court has directed all high courts to file their responses on proposed setup of online RTI portals within 3 weeks. The issue arose when court informed that only 9 high courts had filed their replies in plea seeking mechanism to set up an online portal for e-filing RTI applications. The court has directed Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to examine lack of uniformity in rules regarding cadaveric organ transplant across states with the transplantation of human organs and tissue rules 2014. The court while observing the increasing issue of drugs in the state of Punjab has slammed the state government for its inaction regarding the issue of large scale manufacture and sale of illicit liquor in the state. The court while rejecting objections to maintainability of PIL against forced religious conversion has held that alluring people to convert to other religions by offering medicines and food grains is a very serious issue and although every charity is welcome the intention has to be checked. News highlights from the high courts starting with the Kerala high court The Kerala High Court has held that penalty provided under Section 31 of Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act would attract only breach of protection orders passed under Section 18 of the Act and in case of violation of any other order passed provisions of CRPC can be resorted to. The High Court has held that Section 191 of Kerala Panchayat Raj Act 1994 is an efficacious alternate statutory remedy against any decisions taken by the panchayat and as per the provision government is well equipped to decide legality of any resolution passed or decision taken by the panchayat The High Court while observing that convenience of retired employee must be given preference in petitions filed for claiming terminal benefits due to them has held that such petitions can be moved before the court having territorial jurisdiction over the place he was receiving pension. News highlights from the Delhi High Court The Delhi High Court has held that ultimate decision in the pregnancy cases involving fetal abnormalities are to recognize the choice of the mother as also the possibility of a dignified life for the unborn child. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.